Greetings, Legionaries, and welcome to my reveals for the Night Houses. And I am pumped for these reveals. These are my favorite reveals I've ever been given. Not because of power level. I mean, I had been given Magnus in the past, back when he was OP Magnus. But these are my favorite, A, because like most red-blooded humans, I love giant stompy robots. And... Secondly, these, these reveals show a, just a huge change to uh, how we're going to be able to use the faction and how we're going to be able to play it. Uh, we've, we've seen a lot from the other content creators recently, the other reveals they've revealed, the weapons, the reactor, um, plasma energy, um, and you know just the fact that they're going to they're going to function slightly differently with the weapons and the energy being able to equip them we kind of uh, we kind of expected something like this to start off with um, and yeah we kind of panned out to be like a canis vertex but less powerful from the get-go and it, that's kind of what it is basically you still get the weapons you have to find them in your deck though and you have to equip them and uh, yeah it's it's kind of what we expected but we didn't know it wasn't the it wasn't the end. We still have more to go, and there is more to this faction, which I'm about to reveal right now. I am going to show you our very first warlord, a very well, the very first of a new card type, which may represent a new way of playing the game and how they might be able to implement other factions or warlords or uh, event just one-off warlords or, or even gameplay styles in the future. Not to mention, I also have some cosmetic information. Sort of. All will be explained. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump into it, because I am really pumped to show all this off. That said, we are going to slow roll the good stuff. This is still really good stuff. In fact, it's my favourite weapon I've seen so far, but it's still a weapon. We've seen weapons before. In case you need a quick rundown, it's a card, it'll be in your deck, you'll put it on the battlefield, and then it'll give your Warlord a, a boost to their attack, or they'll maybe give them a ranged attack ability, or it'll have something available. It can be destroyed. Other people have explained it a lot more. Go find their videos. Uh, we have a lot more to talk about. So... Weapon, here, um, in, as the eagle-eyed of you have noticed already, that's a little orange icon in the middle of the blur, because this is First Strike, and having First Strike on your giant titan, which will be able to be pumped up with other means as well, and uh, probably even be given can attack again for a battle honor, this is going to be deleting a lot of your opponent's board. Imagine facing Khan, but he can do his whole delete your board shenanigans starting from about turn 5. 
when you get the shock lights down and the uh, the Tempest War Blade, I believe it's called, yes, you'll be able to just first strike and delete their entire board without taking a single point of damage yourself. Absolutely brutal. But that's not even why I'm excited for these reveals. We're about to get into the really good stuff. Behold mortals and gaze upon our first warlord and the epic one at that. This is... Ooh, I'm going to go with uh, Serastus Vironi. That sounds about right. Serastus Vironi, as most epic warlords do, has 2 attack and 35 health. But that's not a lot to talk about, so let's have a look under these blurs. So, the Serastus Vironi starts with 4 plasma from the start. It has medium initiative and it has reactor 1, so it will generate its own reactor energy gradually over time. It starts with 4, which seems decent enough. I mean, it's a bit hard to tell these things at the moment. We, uh, we still have to play with the mechanics before we see just how effective 4 and reactor 1 really is. But again, not a lot to talk about here. And that's it. That's all we have to say about this Warlord for now, because it does not have an activated ability. I know you can see something there. It doesn't have one. I'm not trolling you. This is not a joke. It's, it doesn't have an ability. There's something there. It was given to me on the card I was given, but it does not have its own ability. Yet. Let's look at the last card. What strange card is this? This is a... it looks like a troop, but there's no attack or health values. Hmm. Well, as every good aficionado of giant stompy robots knows, every giant stompy robot needs a pilot. That's right. This is a never-before-seen card type... a pilot. What's going to happen is, in your collection, you're going to have your knight armors listed where the warlords are normally found for most factions, and near them, you will also have pilots. At the moment, three, probably four by the end of the uh, by the end of the expansion rollout. Yeah, um, this is a pilot. This is going to basically you've got a modular warlord, completely modular. We already kind of suspected this when we saw the weapons rolling out, but at that point it looked like you need to draw the weapons out of your deck and add them in the middle of battle. This is your opportunity to mix and match the abilities of your knight armor, abilities of health and attack of the knight armor, with the activated ability that your knight will bring to your knight pilot will bring to the table. In this case, uh, Elsbeth Elsbeth Vor, who has the ability to heal two to your, heal three to your weapons, four two, and then can act again. So if she really needs to, she can completely heal your weapons up, um, and still attack again at the end of it. So I'm guessing she's some kind of weapons focused um, weapons focused pilot, keeping your weapons alive so you can keep using them more often than other pilots might be able to. But yeah, this is a completely modular way of doing Warlords, where you'll choose your ability, and you'll choose the frame of the Warlord, and uh, his, he, the Knight Armors will come with the attack, the health, and the passive abilities. The pilot provides the active ability, is how it was explained to me. But... As you would kind of hope from having a modular Warlord, they don't just give the activated ability. They will also provide the color scheme for your Warlord. So, as this is Elsbeth Vor, Scion of House Vironi, um, the, the armor will have uh, House Vironi colors, which it seems to be green, gold, or something like this. So. That's why it looks like the way it does. If you had another pilot from a different house in there, they would provide their own colors to the um, to the knight armor. And that's why I'm really loving these reveals I've been given. 
Um, it's not for the power level. Like, I do think they seem decently powerful, and I love the weapon. But I just love the idea of this. I love the whole concept. The fact that you can change around your pilots, um, give them different equipment, different weapons, different, uh, like different color schemes according to who you've chosen. And this sounds really fun. I'm looking forward to playing with it. Um, it seems that they really tested the limits of what they were able to do uh, with their engine by implementing this. I don't know who suggested it, because it's one madman on the team, or there are a whole bunch of madmen. But either way, um, they went ahead with it, and it looks like they've pulled it off. We'll have to see in the day, of course, but looking forward to finding out. I asked them for an official statement, and this was their reply. Read into that as you will. I know how I'm interpreting it. Oh, I almost forgot, this is how it will look on the main menu screen when you choose your Warlord. It will show you what you've chosen, both your pilot and the, uh, the, the knight armor. And during battle I'm told that you will see the knight armor only, which makes sense, as the actual icon for the Warlord. But if you click on it, you will be able to see both the Warlord and the pilot together and what the abilities have been chosen, etc. So, that's it for my reveals. Been really excited to do them. Um, just, I'm loving the idea of this. Because, first of all, it's going to be fun to play with, I think. To mix and match and uh, find what's the strong combinations. And uh, can a particular knight armor with a different pilot work differently? We're well, looking forward to find out. But... There's actually one thing that this implies as well. Every single Q&A session that I've been part of from the beginning, I have asked the devs when they were going to include Warlord hats as a customizable option for your Warlord. And if they've made it now so that you can change the appearance of your Warlord by moving a few pieces around, I believe today we have now gotten one step closer to that goal. See you later, Legionaries. See you at the reveal of the new Night Houses tomorrow. Looking forward to stomping you with some giant robots.